Hey guys, Boltron here. I spent hours watching the Warzone 2.0 LAN event in order to learn everything I could about the all new buy stations so you won't have to. So let's get into it. The all new buy stations in Warzone 2.0 can be found all throughout Al Mazra. On the mini map you will see them as white shopping cart icons. When you first open a buy station it will unpack and deploy its trays out. If a buy station has been open, not only should you approach it with caution, but it's also something you should really pay attention to this time around, because this will affect what you may or may not be able to purchase from that buy station, and I'll show you why. First of all, depending on the game mode you are playing, either DMZ or Warzone you will have slightly different options. In Warzone you have three options to choose from, redeploy squad mates, tier, and primary weapons. If you click on primary weapon, you will be presented with custom loadouts you have created before entering the battle. This will not be the full loadout you created but just the primary weapon. If you do not have a custom loadout or just want to use the default loadout weapons you can do so by selecting default loadout up on top. All primary weapons will have a price of $5,000. When you click on gear you will see the items currently in stock for that buy station along with the available quantity. If an item has an infinity symbol on the top right that item can be purchased as many times as you like, so long as you have the cash to do so. If an item has a number, that is the set limit that buy station has. And once it's sold out, it is sold out for anyone else that visits that buy station. Items you will find in the new buy stations will be gas masks, killstreaks, armor, lethal and tactical equipment. I notice that each buy station has a predictable pattern in what offerings it will have. The very first item will always be armor plates. The second item will either be an armor box or a munitions box. The very last item will always be a UAV. Some powerful items like the durable gas mask and heartbeat sensor and killstreaks will always be restricted to one available purchase and will always be found in the bottom row of items. The middle row will always be restricted to three purchases and the very top row of items will always be available to purchase. From my observations, the items had a consistent price no matter how many were available. Here are all the items I was able to find in their respective values. I did not see perks in the buy stations, but that could change in a future update. Now if you would like to redeploy a fallen teammate you will be able to for $4,000 and only if your teammate has lost their fight in the gulag. You will see them displayed above gear and primary weapon options. Okay, let's move on to DMZ. In DMZ you will have three options to choose from. Gear, buy contraband, and sell valuables. And if you select gear, this time around you will be presented with two rows of items. All items will be available for purchase as many times as you like for the exception of the vehicle which can always be found in the second to last spot. In DMZ the last spot is reserved for a random kill streak. This could be anything from a bomb drone to an advanced UAV. I also notice that in DMZ the prices are not the same as in Warzone. For example the kill streaks are more expensive but the armor plates are cheaper. Armor plates are down to 250 and UAVs and killstreaks are 12,000 no matter which killstreak it is. Another interesting observation I saw in the DMZ buy station was the second item in the bottom row. It will be a self revive kit or stronghold keys, both of which you can purchase as many as you want. Next if you select sell valuables. Here you can sell any looted items you may have picked up that are not normally part of a loadout. This can be something like a car battery or a laptop. Selling these items will net you a good amount of extra cash. I was not able to compile a full sales list, as some of the streamers didn't bother selling stuff or even picking up some of the lootable items that could be found. These items could be why the killstreaks in this mode are so much more expensive. But you may not always want to sell these items, as leaving the DMZ with sellable items will be converted to an XP bonus when we get our hands on Warzone 2.0. I'll make an updated video with the prices for all sellable items, so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Next we have Buy Contraband. Contraband weapons are random Modern Warfare 2 weapons but come equipped with 1-5 to five attachments. The more attachments on the weapon the more expensive they get. 
Weapons with one attachment are 3,000, two attachments 6,000 or 6,500, three attachments 11,000, and a full five attachments 33,000. I was not able to find an instance of four attachments during the live stream, but my guess would be 22,000 for four attachments. If you successfully manage to exfil with a contraband weapon, you can keep it and have the option to start another round of DMZ with it equipped from the start. Well, hope you found this information about the new buy stations useful. If you did, please consider leaving a like. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a comment, and I'll try my best to answer.